Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Here we are. We're live. Yes. All right. I love it. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday today. We got the Boris and Robin show starting just momentarily. Yes. Momentarily. Uh, so Meat Sandwich and I are sitting here in the back office, mm -hmm. going over the show, figuring out what we're going to be doing today. So we figured we'd include you in the process. We call it the pre-show show. Indeed, we do. All right. So uh, today it is ticked off Tuesday today. Yes. So we're going to open up the phone lines. We're going to let everybody vent and uh, tell us why they are uh, angry this week. We have a lot of angry listeners. Uh, there's just a lot of angry people here in the yeah. Hudson Valley, uh, and we like. Uh, we, I, I feel like this is a public service, so people can get it out on our show. So then, when they uh, get around in their normal lives, they're not as ticked off. Yeah, that makes right. sense. So uh, today we were assuming that we were going to be talking about the snow-related stuff, but uh, it's a reason to celebrate today. Uh, it's actually mostly rain. It, yeah, it got too warm to snow, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, however, Robin is ticked off today. Uh, and she is this time of year because of people who continue to wear shorts, <laughs> even though it's not short, even though it's not shorts weather. She was going on a rant yesterday. Really? Yeah. It's very. It, it, it bothers her. And she's no one's making her wear shorts. Right. Yeah. It doesn't really affect anybody. But when she sees scenario. somebody walking by in shorts in the uh, snow, oh, she goes, she goes ballistic. Yeah. So uh, we'll we'll let her talk about that this morning. Okay. The uh, shorts don't bother me as much as the flip flops. When they're wearing the shorts and the flip flops, that's a little weird. In the snow. It's like, and you could just see, they just look like they just rolled out of bed. It's like, well, come on. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Uh, Zuzusa, Zuzusa says she's ticked off. There's no two-hour delay. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Not going to happen today, I don't nope. think. We got lots of, uh, lots of rain. Uh, Joshua says, good morning, WPDH. Uh, Nancy checking in this morning as well. All right. Hi, guys. All right, so beyond that, we also have uh, Chef Kristen Egan from the Culinary Institute of America. Yeah. She's going to be in, uh, and she's going to be talking about uh, holiday dessert traditions. I believe she's bringing something with her called Stollen. Stollen sounds German. I think it's it's like a foreign version of fruitcake. Okay. <laughs> I think. Okay. Not quite sure exactly what that is, but uh, she's going to explain to us what that is and some of the other uh, strange dessert uh, traditions that are out there. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the uh, courses we have over there at the culinary, too. I, my uh, mother and my wife, I hooked them up with a class over there. For my mom's birthday, we, we yeah. got chipped in. We got her a, a, a baking class, and they took a, a Christmas cookie class. You got to eat the uh, rewards of it. Yesterday. I had so many. Yeah, <laughs> I had a lot. It was so good, uh, and uh, they learned a lot actually about uh, baking. They came home and they were like, "Oh, I've learned all these secrets." <laughs> so they were very excited about it. So nice. we'll, talk, we'll talk a little bit about that too. Uh, let's see, Eileen. Good morning. I'm ticked off because my sister. Hold on, a lot of people writing in. My sister. Complains about what I eat when I just lost 11 pounds in one month. Oh, Eileen. Is she complaining because you're eating too healthy now? Because that is annoying. <laughs> right? if, you're, if you're like, you know, if you, you're like on this journey together of just having, you know, fast food and right. enjoy, well, enjoying like good tasting food, and then all of a sudden one person goes on a diet, it's annoying. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> if you're going over for like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner and you won't eat like half the food that's there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, or like, you know, you sit down at, at the end of the day and have some ice cream and the other person has veggie chips that they're just, you're like, oh. You're making the other person no, feel bad. You're making me feel like a jerk. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. All right. Uh, Tammy uh, says, good morning. Uh, Rondout is on a two-hour delay. Well, we'll say that. We do have some two-hour delays, I guess. We'll Apparently. have to check it out at WPDH.com. Uh, let's see. Fruitcake ticks me off, says Julie. No. Ha ha. We'll see how this uh, stolen tastes today. I don't stolen. know if it's necessarily a fruitcake. But... Um, Kim says, hi, guys. You should have listeners come into your show to try the beers. That's uh, an idea. That's an idea. Today is Tuesday. We also have our uh, beer of the week today, too. Yes. So Will from Beer World will be here uh, bringing the beer. I don't know. Is there some sort of uh, law against that? Probably. I think in this current climate of businesses and things like that. I think inviting listeners to come in and get drunk with us on the air is probably not a good idea. <laughs> probably not a good idea, but uh, I, I'd be all for it if they'd allow us to. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Nancy, good morning, guys. It's only a dusting so far in Cottick Hill. All right, so there are some snow, I guess, in some of the areas. So we'll keep you posted this morning. Bobby Wilbur will have the latest news on all that. Yeah. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah, that's what we got. All right, that's what we got today. Getting ready for, uh, is tomorrow our live broadcast already? Thursday is our live broadcast. Today's Tuesday. Today's so, Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Thursday. Oh, okay. We got uh, comedian Mike Barone tomorrow. He'll be in. Yes, yeah. So that'll be kind of fun. Yeah, live broadcast in two days, which is also Star Wars Day. That's right. Oh, that's right. It's yeah. coming. Actually, I muted all the Star Wars words that I could think of on Twitter 
Uh, oh, did you? So, so I don't see no. anything about I it. Just, I just gave up on Twitter until uh, Thursday. I don't want to know any spoilers. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the pre-show show. We'll uh, be on the air in a little bit. See you soon.